All new at six, would you think you would ever have the guts to stare down the eyes of a crocodile and live to tell about it? I sure would not. Well, you'll be able to do that at a new exhibit coming soon to Zoo Miami called Florida Mission Everglades. CBS 4's Ted Scouten takes us inside for a tour. Libby and Laurel are two favorites at Zoo Miami, and pretty soon they're getting a brand new home. And so are the flamingos. They're going right here where zookeeper Ron McGill is staking out their space in the watering hole. It's still under construction. It's at the new entrance to the zoo. It's partially covered by what will look like a cloud. And this is all going to be wrapped in a white tensile material that can be lit from different lights that are positioned throughout this open plaza area. And that leads to a new exhibit. You may hear even a bellowing alligator like, oh, oh, but you don't see it. Florida Mission Everglades. This exhibit is not meant to satisfy the curiosity of people about the Everglades. It's meant to ignite a curiosity, to ignite a wonder. Crocodiles will be a centerpiece of the new area. If you want to stare into the eye of the toothy beast, you can. And there's going to be a tube that goes through where you can see the crocodiles going through the tube. So you're in the water with the crocodiles. Along with crocs, you'll see otters and gators too. So you walk over a little rope bridge that's going to dangle you over the flipping alligators. So you feel like, oh my gosh, the alligators are below me. It gives you a little sense of thrill that way. Libby and Laurel are moving into the neighborhood too, along with the Florida panther. And just like the crocs, you can go eyeball to eyeball with them, looking through a special tree with windows. So you can come out and put your face to the window, and the panther can be right here, and then go, whoa, when you go, oh, the panther's right in your face. The area where I am right now, Florida Mission Everglades, all of this should be done in about a year from now or so. As for the new entrance here at the zoo, that should be complete by March. At Zoo Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.